what's up youtube i'm abdul moiz and in this video i'm going to show you three different ways to fix devices stuck on apple logo it works with ios 5 as well as ios 4 so you have to download red snow from link in my video description and extract it after that you have to open it and run as administrator after that you have to go to extras tab and browse the appropriate firmware for your device you can download firmware from my video description in my case, I am going to choose 5.1 for iPod Touch 4th generation. I have already downloaded it and placed it on my desktop. When your firmware is identified, you have to click on boot method and follow the on-screen instructions. That will allow you to put your device in DFU mode. Most of the people know that what is DFU mode. So you have to put your device in DFU mode by holding the power button and home button for approximately 10 seconds and then you have to only hold the home button when your device is in DFU mode. Then all the work is done by Red Snow. You don't have to do anything and you have to keep your device at its place. It will patch with Lime Rain and then install the RAM disk and then it will reboot your device and Pineapple logo will appear. And you have to wait for some time. If you are stuck at this pineapple logo, just repeat this whole process again. And keep in mind, this process is only for jailbroken devices. If your device is not jailbroken, skip to step 2. So you can see pineapple logo. I have to wait for some time to get the ho some home screen of my device. And with this process, you don't lose any of your data. All of your data will keep in your place and all of your apps will be at your place. You don't lose any of your apps, pictures and everything will be at its place. In the second method, you have to keep holding the power and home button until the screen of your device flashes and turns off. This step actually hard restarts your device and this step works for both jailbroken as well as non-jailbroken devices. This process does take some time so you have to wait patiently. So you can see that my device has booted up and I'm having all of my data and files on it. If those two methods didn't work for you, you have to try the third method. And this method actually involves restoring of your device through iTunes. You again have to open Red Snow and run as administrator. Then you have to point out the appropriate firmware for your device. By going to Extras tab and then browsing the firmware for your device. Then you have to put your device in Pawn State TFU mode so that it can be restored through iTunes. You have to exactly follow the same steps for putting your device in Pawn State TFU mode as you did in Step 1. You have to keep holding the Power and Home button for 10 seconds and then you have to press the Home button only. So once your device is recognized in DFU mode, it will exploit with Lime Rain and skin of your device will go black and then you have to close out of Red Snow and head over to iTunes. The iTunes will ask you that it has recognized a device in recovery mode. So you have to press shift on your keyboard and click on restore and then you have to browse the downloaded firmware for your device and iTunes will start updating your device and once it is completed, you will be having a fully functional device. Please thumbs up this video if this video helped you and to help me please like my Facebook fan page and if you want to learn how to transfer music without iTunes watch the video by clicking on your screen when you click on this video it will take to it will take you to the video that I made for transferring music without iTunes I hope you people have enjoyed this video and please guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and have a nice day